Hello everybody, welcome to this ball review for the Compass Ball and the Season 26 Ball. And I'm going to go through them all, well not all, but them both and give you my thoughts if they are worth to purchase or not. In the end though, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, also get the best guys on the market, patreon.com slash golfclashtommy, uh, link directly in the description down below. Let me know what you think about these balls, comment in the comment section below. First, we start with the one that is the most interesting one, which is the compass ball. So, now we have a new stat that is called topspin boost 2, or like topspin boost, but it has number 2. So what is that you know this is the first time we do have that in the game i'm going to try to explain it in the best way possible the top spin boost means that you will get extra top spin kind of like pretty obvious so first and foremost we do a power three side spin three win two which is like a boosted katana or a downgraded titan depending on how you want to see it which is okay when it comes to the power, we check that it's the plus two overpower needle stability to give you a reference. It's the same as a normal Titan ball in overpower, and you know, uh, so it's gonna be a pretty okay one. If we press top spin boost, extra top spin boost for 20% vertical spin. So you're gonna go and get extra top spin boost, and you're gonna have it look like the following. So we're gonna take a look at the video here. You see here, uh, when I start, I use the big topper. Look at the ball guideline. Uh, if you uh, can first, the needle speed just to check. You see, it's an okay needle speed. We're not gonna complain anything about that. So, you see, you have five extra bars on the side. So, two top spin boost equals approximately 3.8 top spin bars extra. So, look at the ball guideline with, you know, the normal top spin with the top spin boost. You can see that we do get extra top spin and for those clubs that do have a lot of top spin already today it's gonna once again get an extra boost you can just imagine if you're gonna have a ball with top spin boost five that's gonna be just hilarious and sick at the same time so top spin boost fills a couple of function but the biggest function i would say it does fill is that it kind of gives players with lower level clubs a possibility to hang in there compared to those that have higher level clubs. So let's say for an example, if you have an extra mile level seven, you play with four and a half bar top spin, okay? And you play against an opponent that does play with an extra mile level eight, which has six bars of top spin. That's a difference obviously of 1.5 top spin. And then you can use the extra top spin boost to be able to get the same or even more top spin than your opponent. So you can go from a disadvantage to create an advantage by using that type of ball. I do feel that especially in pro division and also in rookie to some extent, this ball is going to be very, very valuable. And also for those that are willing to step up into expert um, when it comes to with lower level clubs, those that do play in master often do, do have the, you know, enough top spin on their club. And especially when it is, you know, uh, sorry, wrong ball. Especially when it is uh, only a power three, you know, we do have power four balls, we do have power five ball to help us get more distance uh, than otherwise. So in most, I don't really see this one to be used that much, but I especially see it to be used in the lower divisions for sure. So when it comes to rating this ball with a new top spin boost, which is actually good, I would say general, this ball is pretty awesome. I would give this one an eight out of 10. And that I build on the fact that you do have a general stat, you know, the win two really pulls it down a little bit, but otherwise it's very close to a Kingmaker and, you know, or an upgraded Katana or whatever, once again, we want to call it. But then we do have the top spin boost that could create an extra value for you especially with lower level clubs which would you know create a more fun atmosphere and less complaints for those having lower level clubs and they go in and play against someone that has better clubs even though i don't really feel that's a legit reason why you lose a game because then you have to play better but it could definitely help out in a big way uh, on certain holes with that regard so 8 out of 10, so how do you rate the Compass Ball? So for the Season 26 Ball, we do a Power 1, Side Spin 4, Win 4. 
and the power one really really pulls down this ball uh, to a level where I don't really know where to use it. So my question to you, where should we use this ball? Because I can't really find a good way of where we should be using it. Sure, it does have side spin four and win four, but the power one really just takes it down because in the end, the side spin four, we never use side spin four, or very rarely at least uh, at the moment. Win four, yeah, sure, it's good with wind resistance, but when we can't reach that far, then it's kind of like, eh. So this is like my eh. So I would uh, say that this ball is, you know, you get it by buying the compass ball, because you can only buy these two balls in a bundle. But I don't see the use of the Season 26 ball at all, and I need to be honest with that, as I do see a great value with the compass ball it really does not help any uh, that much with the season 26 ball We're gonna take a look at the needle speed you can see here if you press press power we have plus two overpower needle stability which is the same as once again a titan but let's take a look at at it here and we do see that the needle speed is pretty good and that's okay but you know it's uh um, generally not a ball that i'm going to use because I don't really see the value. So that's why I ask you, where should we use this ball? Where could it be good? In what certain situations would this be good? I would rate this ball as now looking at the general uh, aspect of that ball as a 2 out of 10. As I really don't see the use of it in my opinion. So then we do have the ball review for the compass ball and the season 26 ball. Let me know what you think. And also don't forget to hit thumbs up. Thanks so much for watching and good luck in your Gold Clash game.